Hi everyone, welcome to Birthing Naturally Queen Season 1. Pregnancy comes with a lot of physical and mental changes and so does the early motherhood phase. The changes could be in the form of weight gain, stretch marks, some pigmentation or hair fall. Well, hormones can be very tough on a woman's body. Some gain the glow on the face while some get the opposite effects. So the makeover session is all about helping these moms feel good about themselves because it is very important to boost happy hormones and these moms need to feel good to look good. So I have my makeover session presented by Palmers and I'm grateful to Palmers for presenting this wonderful makeover session for my top 20 contestants. My guest expert is Tabby, all the way joining us from Canada, who's a celebrity image consultant and a makeover artist. And I remember having worked with her in a fashion week in Dubai and I had some really great experience and I'm so happy to have her as part of my pageant Birthing Naturally Queen season one. So come, let's have a peek and let us see what Tabby is sharing with all the top 20 contestants. Get some makeover tips, some skincare tips, look good, feel good. And yes, Tabby is also a beauty consultant with Sephora International. Okay, well, first of all, I want to thank you very much for having us today and uh, making us part of your beautiful uh, pageant here. And uh, just to let you guys know, uh, Regina herself, she's also been um, a beauty queen. So uh, so it, it, the, great, the great thing is that you're here in, in, uh, in Brampton, right? right? So she's yeah. been Miss, Miss Brampton. So she kind of relates to how you guys must be all feeling right now. <laughs> um, so Regina, would you just say a couple words about yourself a little bit? Sure, you thank you. Um, hi, everyone. Firstly, it's a pleasure to be here. Um, I was Miss Brampton 2018, 2019. And I just want to say, this is your moment, embrace it. Um, even these workshops, every little thing you do, it's all about you. So learn as much as you can. It's definitely a journey. Okay, perfect. So I'm just going to scroll quickly down and I want to show you this picture down right here. <laughs> this is, guess who guys? Oh my God, you have this picture, wow. <laughs> yes, I have this, actually, I have this picture on my website and this is the one picture that everyone has always, always complimented. Wow. Uh, they, they just love it. If you guys, you can, you can see um, our our founder here, how, how stunning he looks here. <laughs> it's always start really lightly and if you can see my hand, I'm, I'm just pulling upwards. I know a lot of people tell you to go and start doing this into the shape like this. But I always believe, especially in the front, so we give it more of a natural look, just fill in the brow itself, wherever, just follow that line. Um, and I'm gonna just, put, I'm just filling it in here. Moisture and it looks, uh, so what I would suggest first is that you always have a nice light moisturizer and has to be natural. And I'm just gonna, um, and after, after, after um, your moisturizer, always, always use a primer when you're doing your makeup. Okay, that's very important. If you don't use a primer, the skin is gonna be uneven. You're gonna start sweating. Um, you're gonna have, your skin is gonna oxidize. So what a primer does, it locks your skin. So your pores don't open when you're doing your makeup. That's very important because even during pregnancy, our, because our face changes, um, the skin tone changes, you know, those little things do go a long way. So just always remember that. Um, a color corrector is for our skin tone is orange or you can say more peachy. Um, that's that's uh, something you can use and then on top of that you can use any kind um, of foundation that, that suits your skin uh, mostly I would recommend using something that is more liquid um, if you it all depends on your skin tone and what your skin is like so that's also something like if you guys want to learn about what products are good for you you can also join my class as well brightening is very important for under the eye when when you were mentioning about um, how to cover your uh, the dark circles first use a nice brightening cream I use this glam uh, glow from um, it's a brightening eye cream from glam glow I don't have you guys um, heard of this product so what this does is this does it hide dark circles this just brightens up the um, under underneath the eyes and that what that does it gives you more of a radiant
Hi there, my name is Virginia Mathrew, also known as the girl that was getting her makeup done by Tabby earlier. Firstly, I just want to thank everybody for coming out and listening to the workshop. Hopefully it was really useful and you got some new tricks and tips on how to do your makeup and also just about styling, image. But you know, what I find most important about pageants is the community. It brings people together. It brings new friendships. You're able to represent yourself, find your own identity, and really empower other females out there. Just because you don't have a crown on your head doesn't mean you're not a queen. Use this platform to network with other people, to get along with other people. And again, find yourself. This is a journey, and I promise you, it's definitely a wonderful one. If I could do it all over again, I would do it in a heartbeat. Hi, this is Tabby. I just want to take a moment and share my experience that I had with Birthing Naturally Queen Season 1. I would like to give a special thanks to Dr. Mahima Bakshi for inviting me as a special guest and giving me an opportunity to share my experiences and doing a special makeover session for 20 contestants. I just love the experience. I was so happy to see the excitement, the encouragement, and the interaction that I had with each and every one of these contestants. I, you want to yeah. see. <laughs> I'm uh, wearing my ring right now, if you can see it. So this nice. is my jewelry. So I'm wearing it from last two years now. Wow. Yeah. And you so made this I out have... of breast milk? Yeah. No, mm -hmm. the pearl is of breast milk. Oh, wow. Very wow. nice. Very <laughs> nice. So this is the first ring I made. So I wanted to wear it always. to magic of memories for being our gift partner for the finale and we are super happy to have Preeti Mago on board with us as our co-partner for the gifts for the finale. Thank you so much Preeti and thank you so much magic of memories. Thank you so much and all the best to all the contestants. So those were some wonderful tips shared by Tabby. Thank you so much Tabby for sharing such wonderful easy quick tips with our top 20 contestants of Birthing Naturally Queen season one. And I'm hoping all these moms, whether pregnant or new moms, are definitely going to follow all these tips to look good and feel good all the time because Birthing Naturally Queen is all about making mothers feel good and happy about themselves. Spreading smiles from pregnancy to motherhood. So stay in touch, stay connected, stay tuned to know what is happening in Birthing Naturally Queen Season 1. Don't forget to visit our website www.birthingnaturallyqueen.com to keep a track of our top 20 contestants and to see what all these contestants are doing through the pageant Birthing Naturally Queen Season 1. See you all.